hello everyone we are going to solve the problem minimum cost to make array equal dromic equal dromic i felt this problem was a tough problem and this video is going to be a bit long because we are going to prove why only we should take median not mean and then we will see why after a uh, maximum of 10000 elements 10000 numbers we can find the palindrome we will prove that and here we will build the palindrome and we will check the palindrome uh, please listen to this video with patience because you will learn so many concepts from this video so first we will understand the problem here you are given zero indexed integer array numbers having length n you are allowed to perform a special move any number of times or nums in one special move you perform the following steps in order we should choose an index i in the range and a positive integer x and add nums of i minus x to the total cost and change the value to x hmm? okay i think you understood these three statements now a palindromic number is a positive integer that remains the same when its digits are reversed i think most of you know about palindrome 1 to 1 is a palindrome 2 5 5 2 is a palindrome because if you read from the front or if you read from the back it will be same uh, and you can take this now one example here you can see these two are the palindromes an array is considered e is saying equal load dromic i am not able to pronounce it properly sorry for that if all elements are in the array are equal to an integer y and y is my palindromic number less than or equals to 10 power 9 okay now return an integer denoting the minimum possible total cost to make nums equal to we should return the minimum possible total cost so if you see this example 1 2 3 4 5 we have 1 2 3 and we have 4 5 he is saying that we can make array equal to by changing all elements to 3 he is saying we should make all elements equals to 3 and 3 is a palindrome we should take can number which is a palindrome and we should convert all the numbers into that uh, equals to that number so if you if you are taking 3 and from every element is subtracting 3 if you are subtracting 3 is getting the answer 6 ok uh, this is ok now now we, if it is not a palindrome if it is not a palindrome how we will do that how we will do that uh, let's see if it is not a palindrome how we will do that now if you are taking these elements 7 9 11 12 and 15 first we will try to reach till 12 you will try to reach 12 if you want to reach 12 how many steps 7 gonna 7 gonna make it should make 5 9 gonna make 3 11 so if we add all we are getting 12 if you want to make equals to 11 which is my median it is taking 11 steps if you are going with 15 if you are going with 15 it is taking 21 steps it is way way more higher now try to visualize the things you can take few other examples and try to think how you can make all the elements equal in a uh, minimum possible way so we will taking the middle element and we have made it possible so why not mean so if you see this example so what will be my mean here uh, mean is 1000 100 and 1 1 1 0 so yeah 1000 divided by 3 that is 9 uh, that is 321 which is 7 370 370 is my mean 370 is my mean now to reach 370 I need 360 steps here here I need 270 steps and to reach here I need 1000 minus 370 that is 630 steps if you all if you add all of them if you add uh, 630 plus 270 which is 900 which is 900 900 plus 360 which is 1260 here I am getting 1260 but if you observe here if you have 10 100 and 1000 if i want to make all elements equal 
I will try to make all elements equals to 100. If I want to make it equals to 100, it is taking 900 steps. It is taking 90 steps. In 990 steps, it is done, right? In 990 steps, it is done. But if you are taking median, it is taking 1260. And if you are taking, sorry, if you are taking mean, you are going with 1260. But if you are taking median, which is 990. So I think you have got it. Why we are taking median? Why not mean? And median is something which is the middle element. If we have odd integers and if you have even number, if you have even number, we will take both of the middle elements and we will make it off. We will make it off. This will be my median. So try to visualize the things. Then only you will understand. So here we got, okay. Now we have solved it. Why we should take the median. Now our major task is the palindrome. There are many palindromes. If you see the constant, it is going 10 power 9. 10 power 9, you will get lot many palindromes. We can't go every integer. So uh, brute force thing is, I will go from 1 to 10 power 9. And I will, if for every integer, I will check whether it is a palindrome or not. Is palindrome. If it is a palindrome, I will calculate the uh, median. Median you will get from the uh, array, uh, from the numbers. You will calculate the medium and you will calculate the answer. For everything you will calculate. So here my time complexity will be 10 power 9. So it will definitely fail. So instead of that, instead of that, uh, he is saying palindrome. So let's try to, let's try to assume. Uh, let's think, this is my biggest number. Biggest palindrome, uh, still 10 power 9 is my biggest. So I have taken 999. This is my biggest palindrome. Now, this is my palindrome, uh, next palindrome, like if I want to consider the before, uh, before palindrome, uh, what, it, what it will be. Now you can't make this 8, uh, you can't make uh, this 8 because the number will get decreased, so it should be 9, this everything should be 9, and here everything should be 9, and this should be equals to 0. Then only this is, after this palindrome, then This, this should be 8 sorry uh, this should be 8 this is my minimum palindrome after the uh, this is my if I this is my last palindrome this is my last second palindrome if I subtract from this uh, I, I will get 1 0 0 0 0 I am getting 10,000 after every 10,000 elements after every 10,000 uh, in the max gap of 10,000 elements I can find the next palindrome Okay, uh, if this is my example, this is proving, but uh, how you can generalize the things, how you can prove for everything. So that's why first we'll try to build the palindrome. First for checking, we will try to build the palindrome. Here I am building the palindromes. Build palindrome is a function. We are building my palindrome. First we are building the even length. Then we are building the odd length. So let's see what is the even length, this coding. Now if you see, if you're taking one, two, uh, uh, suppose my i is equals to consider it is as 12 first we are taking 12 then we are equating it to b and then we are reversing it we are making it 2 1 and we are appending this 2 this is my 1 2 1 2 2 1 if it is less than m i am pushing into the temporary variable this is my one way and if uh, and if i am taking odd if it is 1 2 if i am taking odd from 0 to s minus 1 that means this should be my mid element so till 1 I will take the element and then I will reverse it 1 2 this is my first element then my b will be 1 and in push I am pushing b into a it is 1 2 1 in this way we are generating every palindrome till 10 power 9 so till 10 power 9 you don't require you require till 9 9 9 9 9 because if you are taking this you can go with odd and even if you are taking even then you will append one more one more uh, number into this if you are taking odd you can do in that way so we are going till 10 power 5 only we are going till 10 power 5 if you see in the code if uh, this is my code so if you see the code we are taking we are building it and we are checking tempo 5 minus tempo 5 minus for every how many palindromes uh, in between how much my maximum range so if I am run it I am running it. Mm. It will take some time, I think. Yeah, I run it. It, it, it will definitely it will fail <laughs> because I am returning it zero. 
and if I open the raw input, if you see these are all my palindromes which I have built. Hmm? Now we will see these are all my palindromes which I have built. Now we will see the maximum difference. The maximum difference. If you see the maximum difference is eleven thousand. Somewhere, somewhere it is getting eleven thousand. So we have proved where we are getting ten thousand as my difference. And if the palindromes are going somewhere, we are getting the eleven thousand. We don't care about that. Now. Now we will see. Uh, we got the palindrome and we got everything in our place. Why we are taking medium, and why we are why, how we got the ten thousand as my longest range. Now we will see the solution part. If you see, if you see the solution part, first we are calculating the mid. First we are sorting it, sorting. Then if it is my odd, we are taking the mid. If it is my total elements are five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five by two, which is two. If my uh, which are uh, even, suppose sorry, uh, even, then I am taking two and three. Here I am taking two and three. This is my middle. Then I am checking is palindrome middle. Is palindrome for middle element. Uh, is palin is this function. We are if we are getting one to one, we are reversing it. We are reversing it. We are getting one to one. We are reversing and we are checking temp is equals to sum. I think you all know how to reverse a number. Here we are reversing it. Then we have calculate cost. If it is my palindrome, then we will calculate the cost. To calculate the cost, we have taken absolute of n minus r because we are taking the median. Median here uh, is the same example. We are taking the median. And we are subtracting every element from them, and we are getting the answer. So here we got the answer. Then low is equals to middle minus one, and high is equals to middle plus one. That means we are we are at the middle, and we will go till the minus one, or we will go plus one to find to find which palindrome to find the palindrome. If it is my valid palindrome, I will consider and I will check with that. If I am finding towards the right side, I will consider this and I will check. So in the same way, I am going to the left side. How much you can go? How much you can go? If you are going left side, left side, and you are not able to find, you will get the TLE time complexity. But we have proved, we have proved here that hardly we can go till eleven thousand. After eleven thousand, after eleven thousand, you can definitely find a palindrome. That's why it will take only ten power five. I think you understood it. Why which why we are taking ten power five? I am going towards the left, left, left. See, left is equals to minus one, or right is equals to minus one. I am going towards left. Low, low minus minus. Low it is left side. And sorry, uh, variables are a bit confusing. Low minus minus and high plus plus. And I am storing in left and right. If it is a palindrome, I am storing. In the left, and if it is a right palindrome, I am storing in the right side. In the left side and the right side, we will go till the ten power five. It will go. That's why at any some point, at some other point, we will get the answer. Then we are returning minimum of answer comma minimum of we calculate the cost with the right and with the left. With the right answer, with the right palindrome, and with the left palindrome, we will calculate the cost. I think you understood it. I think you understood it. You understood how why we are taking the medium, why not mean, and then you understood why ten thousand, eleven thousand elements are maximum. So if you understood the intuition part, please consider uh, to like. And if you are very new to the channel, please do like, please do subscribe. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.